Welcome to the Church of the Folger Lapis. Do you wish to join us tonight? I don't recognize you. No, I don't expect you would. Nor would I expect us to be anyone besides you and I. Well, this is a surprise. My midnight sermons are considered quite popular in these parts. You're sure? Quite. What a shame. I had not thought I had aged so poorly as to scare so many away. <laughs> <laughs> it is rare to find a man like you with a sense of humor. I have found that most of your kind are dour, leaden-hearted men. My kind? Priests. <laughs> then I fear you have only met the wrong kind. Besides, given the times we live in, any servants of the Divine would find it extremely difficult to be of good cheer. Very true. I am Uriah Olothair, last priest of the Church of the Folger Labis. Might I have your name? My name is unimportant. However, you may call me Apocalypsis. An unusual name for one who professes a dislike of priests. You are aware of the significance of such a word? I am. It is suiting for tonight, however. And why exactly would that be? What revelations do you search for in my humble church? I seek no revelation. I simply wish to talk to you. I wish to learn what keeps you here when the world is abandoning your beliefs in gods and divinity. I wish to understand why you have yet to turn to the faith of science and reason. Your good health. And yours. This is very good wine. It's old. <laughs> you have a fine appreciation of wine, friend Apocalypsis. My father gave this to me on my 15th birthday, and said I should drink it on my wedding night. And you never married? Never found anyone willing to put up with me. I was a devilish rogue back then. No longer, it would seem. A devilish rogue turned priest. Sounds like quite the tale. It is, but some wounds run deep, and it does no good to reopen them. Fair enough. Friend Apocalypsis, tell me, what did you mean when you said this place was soon to be gone? Exactly what I said. Even in your isolated state, you must have heard of the Emperor and his crusade to stamp out religion and belief in the supernatural. Soon, he and his forces will arrive to tear this place down. I know, but it makes no difference to me. I believe what I believe, and no amount of hectoring from some warmongering despot will sway me. That is an obstinate point of view. It is faith. It would seem I'm not as fickle as you would posit, eh? Faith. The Folger Lapis. So this is a holy stone? It is, yes. Why? Why is it the Folger Lapis? I mean, why is it holy? Was it deposited on the ground by your god? Was a man martyred here? Or did some young girl receive some sort of revelation while praying at its base? Nothing so bland, rest assured, friend Apocalypsis. Thousands of years ago, a local holy man who was blind was walking in the hills hereabouts, when a sudden storm came in over the western ocean. He hurried back down to the village below, but it was a long way, and the storm broke before he could reach safety. The holy man took shelter from the storm in the lee of this stone, at the height of the storm in the lee of the heavens. When he thought all was lost, he was lifted up and heard the voice of our creator. And so he saw the stone wreathed in a blue fire, in which he saw the face of our creator. Did you not say he was blind? Ah. He was blind no longer. The power of our creator cured him of his affliction. He immediately ran back to the village and told the people there of the miracle. And then? 
Say what you will, but come sunrise, you will leave and not return. This is my intention. I have other matters to attend to, but tonight I have to talk with you. My adversarial spirit is not born from any mal-will towards you, Uriah. My malcontent is born from my love for humanity. I would see our species in an age of wonder, without these constant wars and the ignorance that blankets our kind like a plague. I would see us ascend. I would see all of our kind raised to the status of godhood that is worshipped throughout the galaxy. But we are enslaved to the fantastical notions that reside within that book of yours. And all the others like it. That damnable book in your hands is a curse. And I would see you rid of it. You go so far as to mock my holy book too? <laughs> this damnable book provides a code by which I have lived a peaceful life. In which I have built more than I have destroyed. Helped more than hurt. My time before this book was nothing but destroying and hurting. Untold thousands more live similar lives thanks to the guidance provided by our willingness to believe in something greater than ourselves. Tell me, Apocalypsis, when we, as a species, find your vision to be a reality, what will become of us? What will unite us? Peace can only be attained through an aspiration or a common enemy. And when that aspiration disappears and we, as a species, are gods without rivals, who will we turn on? will turn on each other, friend Apocalypsis. Your vision will bring only an eternity of war. When gods clash, galaxies burn. So what would you...